Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. I just wanted to come on here really quick and just share um, some thoughts about what's been happening lately with the coronavirus. Um, I'm not going to go into um, any big details. It's just on my heart just to come on actually. Um, I really don't know much of what I'm going to say. Um, like I don't have anything written down. Um, um, but I would say one of the things the Lord is speaking to my heart in this season is to seek his face, to seek his face, to draw closer to him, to pray and to watch, um, what I say. Um, I put a couple of posts on my Facebook page because, um, I had saw um, some statements and some things in my feed, um, you know, how can I say? I don't think the intention was bad, but it was sort of like encouraging people to, um, let me just say, how can I say this? Okay, I don't think it was encouraging people to um, be irresponsible I don't believe that was an intention. However, it came across as um, a responsibility. Um, you know, we are not to operate in fear as Christians. We don't have a spirit of fear. If we find ourselves afraid, we could go to the Lord and talk to the Lord about it. Um, however, um, taking precaution and being safe does not mean a person is afraid. It's being responsible. And the Lord reminded me of this scripture in Luke where the devil told Jesus to throw himself down off of a, the pinnacle of the temple and that um, God will give his angels charge over him to keep him in all his ways. And I was reading um, a particular leader's post and they were saying that, you know, they were still meeting and they weren't going to be stopped. And, you know, God um, had healed them from cancer and protected them from some sickness or whatever before. So I'm meeting there for everybody to come out. And although, and I'm not mentioning the leader's name because I do not want to do that. Um, although um, I didn't discern that the intent was um bad but it was irresponsible because and people were stating like listen if someone reads that and they really they're really compromised and feels encouraged to go because it's a well-known leader and presumptuously believes that because that happened for that person that they won't get sick it's um they can end up sick just because God healed you and protected you. Not saying that healing is not available to all of us, but we all know like Christians have died. Christians have died from illness and sicknesses and disease. And we don't always have all the answers. I'm sure people have had great faith for them, pray for their healing, but still for whatever reason, God chose to take them home. So when we see that, we understand that God has a plan and um, people are going to go home to be with him. So if a person is sick or whatever, they should take precaution. Our testimony, we overcome with our testimony, but it's to encourage each other, encourage ourselves in the Lord. But it's not to be used as um, doctrine or um, how can I say a catalyst to be irresponsible. Um so, um, I ended up today hearing, um, reading, um, someone sharing how they went to a service, a missions service, and, um, the person actually had isolated themselves because they, um, had a compromised immune system and, um, they also had cancer. And what ended up happening is the person ended up getting sick and going to the hospital and getting tested for, um, you know, the virus, the coronavirus, and it was inconclusive. But what ended up happening was that um, they still were waiting for the results, but 
all the people that were meeting um that was around the woman even though she stayed to the back they were still like not in, not up on each other but i guess in hold on one second um within close quarters so um the people was nervous um the lady was nervous for the other people um the one that was sharing and six of those people also had um you know compromised um immune systems they also battled illness and so you know it was it was cause for concern and when i read that i was like lord you know this is what you have placed on my heart like we need to be careful. Yes, we encourage each other in the Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus. You know, we don't operate in fear. We have the victory in Christ Jesus. However, we just say that God gives us wisdom and we are to practice godly wisdom. Like, you know, um, thank God that we have some information on how to keep ourselves safe and things that we can do to prevent um you know, us from getting the virus and, um, and to help stop the spread of this thing. And so, um, you know, and so that's just on my heart, like, and, and then, oh yes, thank you, Lord. And then also too, like, we know Jesus is coming back. That's a given. No, the Bible says no one knows the day or the hour. And we are in the last days because of Jesus has already ascended to be with the father. So once he ascended this be from 2000 years ago it was the latter days so um you know i'm i'm guarded against people um like bible beating people we ought to call people to christ whether it's coronavirus or not um we know that sin is in the world in the earth's realm um and it's god is angry with the sin but jesus died for everyone he loves us all so this is not um I don't I don't feel comfortable saying this is God's anger intensified. Sin is in the earth's realm. And if we read Matthew 24, Jesus lets the disciples know that sin is going to become more rampant. And if as sin becomes more rampant on the earth, um, yes, men are doing wicked things in labs. You have, you know, we have people doing all kinds of things to the earth. We sin will become more rampant and as sin becomes more rampant the earth suffers so this is just um this is like cause and effect right and yes jesus is coming back and um sin is judged and you know um you know people are using if people are called by my name you know that scripture um and turn from the wicked ways you know pray seek my face turn from the wicked ways he will heal the land but God lets us know that this earth is going to pass away. So um, we can, we are to seek the Lord. We are to turn from our wicked ways. But this land, this, this earth is going to pass away. And so I just, the Lord is just telling me, be in your word and, 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 and be sound. And um, don't take scriptures out of context. Um, yes, and that scripture it, it we can look at it to help us in our walk with the Lord, but that was in, God was speaking to His people at a specific time, and not to say that we can't use that word, but um again, God, this it it almost seems like pessimistic sometimes when you say, well, you know, things are not going to get better in the earth's realm because Jesus is coming back and He lets us know, like. You know, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. And that's not to say we don't pray for healing. That's not to say we don't pray for a cure. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do pray for healing. We pray for miracles. We keep praying that no matter what we see. Well, how our faith lets us know that God is in control and he has an ultimate say. He knows when he's coming back. He knows everything he knows the end from the beginning and so um the lord was telling me you know like lift up my name lift up the name of jesus jesus says if he be lifted up he'll draw all men unto him he was lifted up on the cross he died was buried and resurrected and ascended back up to the father right so we lift that up we lift up jesus we lift up what jesus did and 
It is the Holy Spirit that's going to minister to people. It's not fear. It's not making people feel, oh, you, you're being punished by God because no one is exempt here. No one, we're all in this earth together. And we as Christians, yes, we plead the blood of Jesus. We are walking in divine protection. We are, we are covered by the blood and all of that. However, we are not to make other unbelievers feel like God is coming to punish them. And um, no, this God, the love of God, God knows that, um, you know, sicknesses out here, illnesses out here, diseases out here. But, but most importantly, if you die without Jesus, you're going to there's eternal death just as there's eternal life there's eternal death and god's will is that none shall perish he loves us all he don't want no one to perish he wants us all to have everlasting life to be with him right in heaven and so that's the plea that's the plea whether it's coronavirus or not like jesus loves you and wants you to spend eternity with him and he doesn't want anyone to go to hell. That hell was not made for people. It was made for the devil and those fallen angels, not for us as human beings. But some people choose to go there because they reject Jesus Christ. They reject forgiveness. They reject the atoning sacrifice of Christ that Jesus died on the cross for their sins, right? They chose that. They chose sin. They chose, they chose, is a hell is a choice. You could choose hell or you could choose heaven. You choose Jesus, you choose in heaven. You choose to reject Jesus Christ. You don't want salvation. You don't want forgiveness. Then that's that's the choice. So, you know, that's the choice that people make. It's not that God is sending anyone there. It's just the choice that people make. He said, I and you know, we are presented. We are presented, like he said, in they, he, I think it was Joshua, I put before you life and death choose. You know, it said we can... It, same thing in the New Testament. God set before us life and death. Jesus said, choose, choose. You know, we could choose this day whom we will serve, right? And so, yes, yeah, so I'm mindful to keep lifting up Jesus, you know, um, encouraging people to seek the Lord. Um, those of us that are saved, continue to pray and seek God and, you know, ask God for whatever he would have us to say, like, I'm like, that's what I've been praying, like, Lord, words of encouragement. And if it if you give me a word of rebuke, let me say it, but let my heart be in the right place. Like, let it be because this is what you're telling me to say. And um, let me not, um, like, make people feel like um, they're being punished or anything like that. Um, you know, the, the sin in the earth is already judged, you know. And so, um, yeah, so... That was on my heart to share and, um, yeah, just seek the Lord, seek the Lord, seek the Lord, seek the Lord, pray, read our word and, um, you know, be encouraged, be safe, um, asking God for the strength to do the practical, um, washing hands, you know, uh, practicing social distance in a way that, you know, don't make people feel rejected, like, Lord, help us with this. You have to stay home, stay home, just using the wisdom of God, just praying and asking God every step of the way on um, how to navigate in this season. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, so that's what's on my heart to share. So with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.